We live in an era of automation and smart devices. So of course, those developments have found their way into the car industry. Let me show you some of the most exciting innovations in that space. It's fascinating how technology can improve our lives and make us more productive, more confident, and so on. The list goes on endlessly, to be honest. And I'm super excited to show you some of the features that will take your driving experience to the next level. Before we get to that, I wanted to thank Nissan for sponsoring this video and for letting me explore Nissan Armada, which has been so much fun. Nissan is a true challenger of the status quo in the industry. Their goal has always been to move people forward in terms of innovations in technology and user experience. Stay updated on their visionary technology by following Nissan on social media. I'll leave some links in the description for that. There are so many innovations in the car tech space, so I decided to kind of group them up into five different categories to make them more digestible. Here are these five categories. Category number one is intelligent cars. Category number two is intelligent use of cameras. Category number three is radars and movement detection. Category number four is automation. And finally, category number five is comfort and entertainment. Let's look at those categories in more details and some of the awesome features that are possible because of those technologies. Category number one was intelligent cars. This category is all about artificial intelligence and the use of smart assistants. What can you do with an intelligent car? Let's look at some of the features that Nissan offers. First of all, there's a feature called remote engine start, which is pretty self-explanatory from the name. You can start the engine of your vehicle from up to 180 feet away. You can also use Alexa skills using Nissan Connect services app to do the same using voice commands, as well as flash your vehicle's lights, headlights, and unlock or lock its doors. Nissan Connect services app also allows you to set up your climate control remotely, which makes life so much better in the winter. And it also allows you to set up destinations using your phone and find your parking spot, which is such a great feature. I always forget where I parked. And finally, one of my other favorite features in this category is called intelligent driver alertness. It uses artificial intelligence to spot patterns in your driving style to see how you're doing. And if it notices any signs of drowsiness, it will alert you and suggest for you to take a break. Category number two was the intelligent use of cameras. Who knew that cameras could take your driving confidence to the next level? Let's look at some of my favorite features that are possible because of this technology. The first feature that I want to talk about is called the intelligent rear view mirror, which basically is an LCD screen that is hidden in your rear view mirror that gets footage from the back of the car. There's a camera at the back of the car and it gets footage from there and displays it on the rear view mirror if you switch that function on. What would you need this function for? <laughs> There's already a mirror in there, right? I was very confused when I first saw that function because I didn't really understand what it's needed for, but oh my God, it is genius. When was the last time you moved furniture or you had so much stuff packed at the back of your car that it blocked your rear view mirror? Obviously, highly not recommended because it's dangerous, don't do that. But this feature is exactly for those cases for when you have people that are moving around and blocking the view or when you are moving something bulky and you can't see, you can't use your rear view mirror to see what's behind you. So in those cases, you can switch that function on and see exactly what is happening behind your car without putting yourself or whoever you are driving with in a dangerous situation. Also, I need to note that Nissan Armada, the car model that I got to explore, had the coolest parking camera. Not only does it use a rear view camera to show you what's behind it, but it also shows you the trajectory of the wheels and how your car is going to move based on what you're doing with the steering wheel. I'm not a very confident parker, so that visualization is wonderful. 
Another awesome feature that uses cameras is intelligent lane intervention, which basically uses cameras to detect where the lane markers are and to keep an eye on whether you're staying within that lane or not. And if it notices you drifting to either side of that lane, it will first alert you. And if you don't take any action on that and continue drifting, it will apply a braking pattern that will gently bring you to the middle of the lane. And finally, intelligent around view monitor, which is an awesome feature that uses four cameras, four cameras around your car and a system called moving object detection to detect, you've guessed it, moving objects around the car. For example, if you're backing up and there's a pedestrian that comes out of nowhere, the vehicle can help you detect that moving person and alert you. Category number three, radars and movement detection. Let's move on to technology that reminds me of submarines. Yes, I'm talking about radars. There's a huge use case for radars in the automotive industry, and let me walk you through some of the features that use that technology. A great example of how radars work in the car tech space is this feature called Intelligent Forward Collision Warning, which is basically a crash alert feature. This system uses radars that go as far as up to two cars in front of you, and this system monitors those cars, those moving objects, for any signs of slowing down or stopping, and it will alert you if anything like that is happening. Intelligent backup collision intervention is another feature that uses radars to detect any perpendicular movement behind your car. So for example, if you're backing up and there's a car behind you that's moving perpendicular, um, the system will alert you and if no action is taken, it will gently apply brakes, which can help you avoid collision. Intelligent blind spot intervention is a system that, yes, you've guessed it, uses radars to detect if there's anyone in your blind spot as you're changing lanes. And if there is, it will warn you. And if you continue trying to change lanes and don't see the warning signs, it will gently apply a braking pattern to gently bring you back into that lane. These are some of my favorite features that use radar technology to detect potential danger and alert the driver. Of course, there's so many more and you can do your research if you'd like to, if you're curious about them. But for now, let's move into the next category, which is category number four, and it is automation. Automation is wonderful and saves us so much time and effort. And of course, when it comes to automation and car features, the obvious suspect is cruise control. So let me introduce you to the intelligent cruise control. This feature not only maintains a more or less constant speed, but it also detects the distance between you and the car in front of you. And for example, if somebody moves in front of you closer, it will detect that and it will use acceleration and deceleration to maintain a good distance between you and the car in front of you. High beam assist is another feature that uses automation to reduce the number of actions and decisions that you need to make. It controls your headlights and it automatically turns on the high beam headlights when you have no oncoming traffic. And if it detects oncoming traffic, it will switch it back to low beam headlights. And finally, category number five, which is comfort and entertainment, which let's be honest, since we spend so much time in our cars sometimes is almost a necessity. Heated front seats are a pretty standard feature at this point, but what about the rear seats? Nissan Armada, the model that I got to try out, had those and it also had a heated steering wheel, which is so awesome for Colorado winter. I was also impressed by the entertainment system, which had a feature called Tri-Zone Entertainment System, which basically meant that people at the front could be listening to something of their own while people at the back are watching a movie or listening to something else which is an amazing feature and solves the problem of when my boyfriend and I want to listen to different podcasts on podcasts on long road trips. So which features were your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Thank you, Nissan, for letting me explore that beautiful beast of a car, Nissan Armada, which was so much fun. If you'd like to learn more about Nissan and follow their visionary innovations, follow them on social media using the links that I've just left in the description. Let me know where you think the intelligent car innovations are going and also what you would like the next features to do. 
Like this video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to turn on those bell notifications. And we can also be friends on other social media. You can find me as Coding Blonde. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.